Hi guys, this is Winifred and I am here today with a look using my chocolate bar palette. I am going to incorporate some other eyeshadows that I did not mention in my basket because I wasn't going to use them until I got the Eureka idea to use them today. And these are the MAC um, pressed, pressed pigments and they're like glittery one. One is Day Gleam and then this one is Beaming. So I'll be using these two mixed on my lid to achieve my shiny lid. And um, the rest of the colors for my eyes will be coming from my chocolate bar palette. Now, I've already primed my eye. This eye is already done. My face is already done. I changed it up a little bit for my highlight and my blush. And those items came from my makeup basket. And guys, I will discuss that once I finish doing the eye. Okay, so I'm going to look over to the side because my mirror is over here. I've already primed my eye with Max Prep and Prime and I have it in medium dark. And on the mobile lid I put, which I normally don't put, is Max Laying Low Paint Pot. So I put that on my uh, mobile lid today. So, it's kind of like a nudie, neutral kind of a look so let's go in real quick and I think what I'm gonna do guys is do my hmm I think I'm gonna do my eyebrow first because I want to lay down that color and here it is I'm trying to find the brush I use for that I am going to use this bone color right here as my eyebrow highlight and I just have a flat brush and I'm laying this down before I put on my transition shade because I just want to blend it in so if you take it down below a little bit before you put on that transition shade it's okay because you're gonna go right over it and smooth it out and blend it together. So this is this lightest shade in that uh, candy bar, Too Faced candy bar um, palette. And I'm using that as my highlight. Then I'm gonna go into this shade right here. And this is going to be my transition shade, guys. And you know, I'm gonna get that big fluffy E38 Sigma brush, dip into that, just kind of right there in that transition area. I like to use transition colors that are around my skin tone and that's usually what we do. It just makes all your other shades blend out better and gives you more of a seamless um, transition, if you will. Then I am going to grab um, what did I do with it? I moved it over here. I'm going to grab another Sigma brush guys and this is the Buff and Blend brush. This is the E39. I'm going to grab that and dip into this shade right here. It's that pretty brownie kind of matte shade. And I'm going to go just below that transition shade into the crease with that. Gives it a nice definition. It's nothing too crazy. It just gives it a nice definition. And I'm going to take that, that buff brush, guys, that E38, and I'm going to buff that out a little bit with a little bit of that first transition shade that we laid down just to make it look a little seamless and to blend that second transition shade in and that's it 
it looks really really natural but just defined a little bit now where the funkiness comes in guys is for the mobile lid and before you know what before I do that I think what I'm gonna do and I think I did this is I took this shade right here and I laid that down just on my yeah on my mobile lid and gave it kind of like a base for those just the undercoat for that um for those press pigments max press pigments and that's what I did left this one left my outer V alone left the inner portion alone because I use this MAC metals for my inner corner highlight Okay guys, so I'm going to dip into the darkest shade first and lay that down. But before I do that, I was concerned with a little bit of the, uh, the pigment fallout and rightfully so. And probably the best thing to do is to do your, your face after you've played with these pigments because you will get fallout like you wouldn't believe. So I wanted to make sure that I intensified that uh, pigment look. So I went over it with my Too Faced Glitter Glue. And then I go back in with a flat brush, guys. And I'm using the uh, Max 195. It's flat, got a slight point. Any flat brush would do because you don't want to be swiping this pigment all over the place guys because it will end up on your cheek and even if you do it this way it's going to end up on your cheek so what I'm going to do is grab a paper towel and try to tame that down a little bit <laughs> because I had it all over my cheek guys so okay then you just pack it, pat it on just like so just like so and these really do at first when you're putting it on because it's a a nudie color you can't really see the sparkle but if you let it fall out on your face guys you will see it trust me and it's not pretty after you've um i'm gonna dip into the other one called beam it's called day day beam um, after you've laid down all of your foundation and did your cheek work and whatnot, and you get glitter all over it, I mean, you could easily remove it with uh, scotch tape or surgical tape. Now, this just takes it to another dimension. It just lightens that up a little bit. So you kind of have like a two-dimension frosty look there because one shade is slightly lighter than the other and this is the lightest shade that I'm putting on last so you see how I just took it up just a notch and then there you go right there I like that and this is a really guys really I think that you can use this as a daytime look actually because I mean, it's all skin tone, right? So, I'm going to jump into this. And this is um, Peek at You. And this is from the Mega Metal Shadow Collection. Just a dab of it. Put it right here in the corner. And I'm just using a 217 brush. I just want to brighten that up a little bit. And you know, normally 217 is too light, bright, big for that, but hey, when you don't have your other one around, you make a do with what you have. There you go. Okay. So then I wanted to darken up this eye a little bit. Well, actually a lot. Just the, um, just to outline it. Now you all know I usually use, uh, Perversion 24-7 and that is what I'm using to tight line 
at least do my version of a tight line, guys. And that's just going around ever so lightly. When I see the ladies just like almost poke themselves in the eye and do it, oh my God, it makes me cringe. I can't do that. And like I bought these eye eyelash applicators, the tweezers, the long ones. Oh, and every time I see somebody use them, like at first I was using them, and then I was like, wait a minute. As clumsy as I am, I will put my eye out. And um, yeah, I stopped using them. Okay, so I gave myself that nice black tight line. So then guys, what I'm gonna use is this pretty NARS. It's kind of like a, oh gosh, I would say it's like a, a greeny black liner. And you're just gonna go up under to smoke it out a little bit. Go up under, go on top. To smoke that out a little bit. And then you're done with the eye, guys. That's pretty much it. And you know, I do things really pretty simple. And I like this eye, guys, because one, you could wear it in the day, and you can also wear it in the evening. Why? Because the sparkle. The sparkle takes it right into the evening, but also, if you want to wear sparkle for the daytime, it's cool too because it's more or less a nudie color as opposed to being, um, excuse my nose, it just, as opposed to being like a, I don't know, some of the kind of pastel color or purplish okay, color. guys, so I'm back. Um, I just popped on my eyelash and yeah, that's the completed look. Um, so yeah, let's just talk about what I have on the rest of my face. What I use for a blush today, which is kind of subtle and glowy, is this. And it is called Center of the Universe. Um, it's got a mixture of gold, reds, a red, kind of a burgundy-ish red, coppery red, and orange. And that is what I have on my cheeks, quite subtle. What I used as a highlight, guys, I said that I was going to go ahead and give um, Whisper a Guilt a try. I knew it was going to be a little bit too bright for me, so um, this has got to go. And I know who I'm giving it to. It's going to be an appreciation gift. But... Yeah, I usually use Magnetic Appeal, and Magnetic Appeal is deeper than this, and it just gives me that nice glow that I'm looking for. Now, with this, I have this on, but I also added a couple of things to kind of tone it down, and um, one of which was the other bronzer that I was going to play around with, and this is the um, Physician's Formula one, the one with the overspray gone. I put that on and then I put on next the Helena, Helena Rubenstein um, pretty kind of goldy bronzer. I put that on top of that to even tone it down a little further. And you know, that gave me a look that was wearable. But you know guys, to me, I'm not absolutely in love with it, so it has to go. And that's what I'm doing with a lot of my products. It's like somebody who really loves it or somebody who will wear it, I'm just going to pass it on. Um, because where I want to get to a point with my makeup collection, the items that I have in it, I am actually using. I'm going to because I love and not going to because it's like, okay, I bought it. And I want to use it up. Now I want to absolutely love everything that I have. And um, the Too Faced 
this I love. I love, I love, I love. So, yeah, I used a combination of colors, guys. And <laughs> you know what I forgot to do? Because if you look at one of my eyes, does it not look like... You see that definition in there, guys? I completely forgot it. I put this, I added this on. No worries. We're going to do it right now. All I did was put it on the outer V just to deepen it up a little bit. And that was it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm looking at my eye. I'm like, wait a minute, something's missing. This is all I did. Added that on. And then I took one of my 217s and just blended it. And that was it, just to deepen up that corner. And just that quick, as I'm looking at myself, I'm like, something's missing. <laughs> the outer V on this eye. And there we go. Things happen, guys. I don't know. Okay, so I use this color right here is my brow highlight. This is my outer V. This color as a lid color under the pigments. And then I use this as a transition number one shade. This in the crease. And like I said, this is an outer V color. Okay, and then I used on my mobile lid on top of those. My uh, MAC pigments, pressed pigments. And this one is in beaming. This is the one I laid down first. And then the second one, which is the lighter of the two, Day Gleam, I put that on top of it. And that, ladies and gents, that concludes my eye besides the liner. And I showed you what I did for that. It's just my usual perversion and the NARS stick, which is not my usual, but that's what I use to smoke it out. Now... On my lips I normally wear a lighter color than this guys but I decided I was going to change up a little bit and even though I use my Chanel palette guys this these colors that I used which are the two here on the end this one being a little matter but frosty and then this one being more of a gloss and lighter I use this on the bottom and this on the top but still, you know, it looks fine. But you know, I normally wear a lighter shade. And I'm just going to pat it off. Not totally remove it, but pat it off. Because that's going to give me my nice lip balance. You know, I usually use um, laying low to balance it out. And... I'm going to see what cis looks like. I still have that, you see, see that frost on there? Hmm. I like that, guys. I'm going to almost say that I like that fro um, this cis better. I think I do. And I don't know if it's because, you know, you kind of almost get used to seeing yourself in certain things. I can tell you, at least with me, I'm used to seeing myself either in a lighter lip shade or it's going to be something drastically dark and doggone near black or some funky shade, you know. I'm never with anything, usually with anything in between like that unless it's a, a colored shade. If that makes sense. So yeah, I think I like this one better. Tell me what you think. You like the first lip shade better or do you like Max Sis? Now keep in mind that this is not a true tone of Sis because I had a mix of those two shades left under. I just patted it. But I think I like this one better. And I think it kind of almost brings out the eyes more because it is um, just a pinch lighter. I think so. So, there we have it, 
guys that is it oh let me make mention my nails too because I just put up a um, Instagram picture of this um, I'm surprised they're staying long this long without my thumbnails breaking my thumbnails usually break and then next are my pointers so um, I got a full 10 set <laughs> I have on what I have on is Sally Hansen's Smooth Perfect and it is in the color fog. You all know I love these these um colors like this because it allows me to wear whatever jewelry that I want to and today's choice of finger bling like I posted in my Instagram is a sterling silver ring. You know what? Maybe I want to give you a closer look at this and it's gonna take me a minute to you know I told you all that this is does not autofocus and I kinda want you all to see the how this looks mm. guys yeah yeah okay I just kind of wanted you to see what the intricacy of this now this is all sterling silver the underside has a nice design and so does the band and then the prongs that holds the fake stone in also has a nice little design and if you look at this this just happened <laughs> I lost the prong wiping my um, drying my hands so yeah, this is what this ring looks like. And I love the fact that it has that nice underside and the band. So yeah, that's all I want to show you guys. It's going to take a minute to get in focus. I promise my next camera is going to be autofocus because that is just crazy. I mean, I love the quality of this, but as far as... um Auto focusing oh, is a pain. Okay, so I think that's it as far as this goes. I've got my regular little green earrings on. I've, you've seen these before, little hoops with green beads, and my wrist bling bangles. I am going to come back with some empties, guys. So you will probably see the empties video before you see this video. So, yeah. Okay guys, see you shortly. Bye-bye.